everybody, it's Kristen. So a few months back, my friend Sarah from Prim Polish and Shine and her friend Yvette from Beauty by Mrs. Outlaw, I believe, they created this tag called the Little Bit of Everything tag. And I had it kind of on my list of tags to do, and I hadn't quite gotten to it yet. Most recently, Elizabeth from Unlimited Elizabeth did the tag. She tagged me along with a few other people, and it reminded me that I needed to do this. So I will link Sarah and Beauty by Mrs. Outlaw's original video where they created this tag below for you guys, and I'll list Elizabeth's as well. And thank you to all three of you for tagging me. Okay, so here are the questions. I am still, as you can tell, a little bit sick. I'm going to do my best to not sound like it. And who doesn't do a smoky eye when they're wearing a sweatshirt and they feel like a pile of junk? That's what I say. <laughs> okay, so the very first question, do you keep up with the Kardashians? No, nope, I don't. I used to long ago, but I just it just got to be a little much, so I do not. If you could have an old muscle car, which one would you choose? Probably a Mustang. Is that considered a muscle car? I like Mustangs, so I would say a Mustang. Do you curse like a sailor when the camera isn't rolling? No, I don't. Number four, is your... I have these printed out, by the way. Is your significant other... If your significant other gave you a hall pass, who would you use it on? Be honest. Morris Chestnut. Hands down. Um, what is the one thing you do that you hate to admit? Um... I, I don't know the I hate I don't know I worry a lot I uh, I worry too much let's just let's just leave it at that number six do you really brush your teeth in the morning and at night be a lot of these say be honest yes I brush my teeth both in the morning and at night every every morning and night what is your go-to drink at Starbucks well we don't have Starbucks here we have a local coffee shop and I love their chai so I always get their low-carb chai with skim milk, and it's spiced chai. It's delightful. If I'm at Starbucks, I always get, and I, I always say it wrong, and they always look at me like I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, really. With the, with the attitude, Starbucks, really. But I always get, I always ask for medium, which is called something else, and I always want sugar-free mocha with skim milk and none, no whip topping or whatever. I, I, I never know what to say. And one Starbucks will tell you to say it one way, like a skinny mocha. Another one will say you have to say skinny non -fat. I don't know. It's really confusing. So I just tell them everything I want and look like an idiot. And it is what it is. Is your current, current hair color your real hair color? Um, no. This is probably, I'm looking to see, this is probably maybe one level darker than my actual hair color. Um, so no, I've been coloring it for quite some time. All right, if you could swap bodies with someone, who would it be and why? I think that I have determined at age 41 that you need to be comfortable in your own skin with who you are, and that's what I'm doing. I, there, I, I, I'm just happy being in my own body. I know, that's not the answer we're supposed to give. Have you read Fifty Shades of Grey? If so, what do you think? No, I have not. <laughs> I don't read much. I'm trying, as you guys know. Do you crack your knuckles? I do. More so than I should. Number 12, have you accidentally text messaged somebody something you were supposed to be sending to your special someone? No, Bob doesn't text. So there you go. Have you ever created a fake profile to creep on someone? No, I have not. What is your weakness, cookies or pastries? Both. What do you love about yourself? Ugh, I hate these questions. I'm so terrible at that. Um, I think I'm a really good friend. So I'll go with that. Do you match your nail polish to your toe polish? I don't anymore. I used to. I used to be like super OCD about that, but not anymore. As long as it goes, I'm happy. Meaning it's not, you know what I mean. Tell us a few things about you that people would be surprised t to know about you. <laughs> Can't talk apparently. That people would be surprised to know about you. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty. I'm a pretty open book, particularly since I have a vlog channel and vlog every weekend. You guys pretty pretty much know most of most things about me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I really enjoy singing. Music was my minor in college, so um, maybe that I sing and I play saxophone, flute, piano. Maybe that maybe that's something interesting. I don't know. Heels or flats? I love heels, but on the day-to-day, -day, I wear flats. But I love heels. If you could do anything for one day and money wasn't an option, how would you sp spend your day dream big? 
Well, I think a lot of people have said this. I would collect all of my family and friends that I don't get to see on a regular basis and my family that's close, but I would collect everybody and we would just all go somewhere together and hang out and just be with each other. I really miss my sister who lives in Pennsylvania and I miss my brother who lives in Denver. Um, so yeah, I would, I would bring them all together. Whew. Goodness, Kristen. Okay. What was the last YouTube video you watched? Um, what was the last YouTube video I watched? I have my laptop right here because I watched while I was getting ready in the morning. And I just finished watching Prissy's Empties video from Prissy um, in Pink. Whew, I'm so sorry that I sound so nasally and starting to cry a little bit was not helping matters any. Okay, let's get it together, game! <laughs> Do you have road rage? I do get a little road rage sometimes, but I live in a small town, so we don't have too many opportunities to have those sort of things, but I do, it does drive me crazy when people do crazy things. Who was your first kiss, and do you still talk to them? Um, yes, it was a good, <laughs> a good friend of mine, and it wasn't, you know, but yes, <laughs> we still talk. If you, it wasn't like that, though. If you could have one YouTuber's closet, who would it be? I, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Lisa, at least from Lisa SEO9, her style and my style are very similar. I think, um, kind of comfy, casual. Uh, so I'll, and she's got a great shoe collection. So either that or Laura from Laura Vitelli. Laura Vitelli's got some serious shoes. So I don't know. One of, one of those two. Um,. If you could have one YouTuber's makeup collection, who would it be? Uh, Terra Babies? Hello. Who who would say anybody but Terra Babies? Um, do you have a nickname? I do. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. What do you think is the best thing about your YouTube channel? Um, I think that I would say it, it's similar to kind of what Elizabeth said, that um, it's positive. And I think, I, I try to be very consistent, and I try really hard to be unique. I, it's tricky because, you know, a lot of people want to see the same things, like favorites and empties and that sort of thing. But I do really try hard to come up with new ideas and be a little more unique. So hopefully that's the, that and positivity is the best thing about my channel. Well, I tell you, people wonder why um, we as YouTubers tend to look in the viewfinder sometimes. And it's for reasons like that. I, I was recording and I had run out of memory. So that's why we look at the viewfinder sometimes. Okay, I think I left off with what my nickname was. So, what do you think is the best... Oh, no, that's not true. I answered that. How many cars have you had and what were they? Okay, so I name all of my cars, so it's, it t tends to be a little bit easier for me to remember. <laughs> okay, so my very first car was a 1986 Ford Escort Wagon Powder Blue Diesel. Daisy the Diesel. And then I had... Um, a uh, red Ford Escort. Is that true? No, no, an, an 84 Buick Century, Betty the Buick. Then I had um, a red Escort with power nothing, like not even power steering, Eddie the Escort. From there I had Mitzi the Malibu, sorry. From there I had Mitzi the Malibu, and I think then I went to a Trailblazer, back to a Malibu, couple of Impalas. <laughs> Currently, I had a Lexus in there for a while, a little Lexus, Lexus IS 250, which I really liked. It was fun and super sporty, but the trunk was really small, and I don't know. Anyway, so I'm currently driving an Impala, and in a year or so, something like that, I will probably get an SUV. But anyway, that's a short rundown of what I had. Okay. Um, what's your favorite pizza? Locally, we have a place called Luigi's. They make the best pizzas. They're so good. Tons of cheese. And they have one called Luigi Special, so it has peppers, onions, green olives, sausage, pepperoni, you name it, it's on there. Awesome. It's my favorite pizza. If you could choose, the last question they had, they decided to end with a beauty question. If you could choose one lipstick for the rest of your life, which would it be? It's absolutely a toss-up for me between MAC Viva Glam 5 and Hourglass Which Whisper. They are both similar. Currently, I have Viva Glam 5 on my, on my lips today, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and that my stuffiness wasn't too annoying for you. Um, on my face today, I have that Guerlain BB Cream. For blush, I have, I just got this one. Let me get the plastic out of it. Uh, this is an Alluring Rose by Estee Lauder. Prissy had showed this in her 
favorites and I was all over it. And then on my eyes today I used my um, Camp Cosmetics KGB palette and actually just as an FYI, see this video is going live today, as of 5 o'clock tonight, Saturday, I'll list the date below because I can't remember right now in my head what, what day it's going to be. Um, these are, are no longer pre-sale. You can still order, but he's going to open them up to the public, like his regular customers and stuff. So anyway, I have this in the middle of my lid. I have this shade on either sides of my lid. Everything deepened up with this and this as my brow bone highlight. And then, like I said, on my lips today, I have MAC Viva Glam 5. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.